Today, I do a bit of advisory work. I go to other countries that are perhaps at a different stage of development, countries with a lot of money, like in the Middle East or in Central America, or even the Russian Far East. And inevitably, inevitably, there is money thrown at the problem. Uh, I remember we made one trip to Libya and they had just done a study with a monitor company on their IT industry. We asked to see the report, it was this thick, $10 million. I said, and what have you done? They said, nothing, sitting on the shelf. And that is the danger when you hand, uh, when you hand it over lock, stock and barrel to a consultant. Consultants uh, are important people. Uh, they provide a link to new knowledge. But we've always believed that consultants are there to help us build capability and not to do the job. And I think those were some of the characteristics of how we approached building the IT industries in those days. And if you took it as a whole, self-reliance, building our own capability, building our own people, it was a willingness to take fairly large risks that held us all together. It's a lot less risk to go buy something that's proven. It's a lot more risk to go build it yourself. But if we had not done that, there wouldn't be an IT industry in Singapore today. There'd be lots of consultants who would have come and made money and would have gone home 